guys, David Ronson here. Um, this has come up uh, somewhat frequently in the past uh, couple weeks or so, and so I figured I'd just make a blog about it. And uh, basically, um, what's happening is companies are still working in CAD MEP um, and are finding out partially into the job or at the end of the job that their deliverable needs to be in Revit. Um, so they're aware that they can use the MAJ file to import into Revit, but um, not quite sure how to handle the unsupported patterns. Okay. Um, so what I want to do is I want to step through that and just uh, give you the idea of how you can um, still deliver in Revit um, and not be too concerned about that. Uh, so I'm going to use the command uh, create Revit MAJ. All right. And I'm just going to make my selection, save this out as project A in Revit. I'm going to go to my add-ins tab, import, import my project. Okay. Uh, so what you're not seeing here are the diffusers or the flex duct. Okay. Uh, these are patterns that Autodesk is not going to support in Revit. They want you to use regular Revit um, elements for that, but uh, we didn't model in Revit. We don't really want to go back and have to remodel this stuff because uh, really my goal is just to deliver. Uh, so I'm going to go to AutoCAD here and I'm going to use the Select Filter feature. I'm going to grab uh, only the items that I need. I'm going to grab my flex duct and then grab the diffusers. Okay, so you'll see those are highlighted in my model. Now I'm going to use the IFC export command. So we're going to create an IFC file. And we'll say project A. Back in Revit, I'm going to go to Manage and then Manage Links, Add, Browse to My Project A, All right, so um, you'll see that I brought in the items, but I can't see them. Uh, what I like to do is just click on the Revit links down here in the project browser, right click on the link and go to select all instance and then in entire project. Now I can use this bind link feature. I want to actually make these parts um, in the in the project, so I don't have to send links or anything. Um, so at this point, they are a group. All right, so uh, that could be good enough, um, but I want to go a little bit step further here, and I want to make them uh, individual components. So I'm going to select the group and click on ungroup. Okay, so now they're individual components. All right. Uh, they are um, just massing, okay? They're not um, intelligent per se, okay? Uh, so if I click on it, what you'll see on the side here is some information uh, about the item, okay? Some parameters that I can report off of. Um, this not again these are not going to dynamically change sizes or anything like that um, but they are uh, represented in the model and you can uh, get information about them off of it okay um, hope this is helpful uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions